Scottish industry is changing. We don't just want to be seen from space. We want to be in space. Engineers at Alaba Orbital are putting Glasgow at the forefront of satellite technology. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing all the, you know, the um, electronics uh, design side of it, the basic design, intelligence, and the, um, usually uh, it you know, starts from my side. I'm the mechanical engineer, so I do all the mechanical interfaces and mechanisms. So, for example, I design the 6P pod and the 96P pod, which are both the ployers for the pocket cubes. So, I am the uh, RF engineer uh, at Alba Orbital, and I'm responsible for the communication system. Uh, between the satellite and the Earth, which means the satellite and the ground station. We're working on the smallest satellite, on the smallest satellite that exists, that will ever exist. So the challenge is to be able to have a performance that matches, you know, older versions of satellites and of bigger satellites, and basically make things work better. It's kind of like exciting prospects of developing something so small where space is inherently expensive so if you can actually scale down um, your mechanical and satellites you're basically going to help reduce cost. We, we work with all the mechanical, electrical, electronics and even radio and all these departments you know you can get an exposure to it. It's, it's absolutely a great place to be in a working in a satellite company. It's pretty laid back, um, despite having like stressful deadlines, and basically it's working in a really um, difficult environment because space is really hard and difficult. It's a lot of challenging, but it's something that's a lot more rewarding. Uh, working in a small group uh, of people makes things more interesting, a bit more challenging, but the interesting part is the better part and things are more dynamic. We have more responsibilities as well, which is a thing I, I like. Scotland is the place for space. Do you want to be a part of it? Uh, we're working to dominate the world. <laughs>